Mike Anderson, you know, the fantasy football guru, the first overall pick. Is there a curse up the first overall pick? There's so much pressure on that guy to build your team around. The top three players that we think will bust this year. Bust, you know, I, I, I'm a little worried about Kelsey. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. So now we have the top three league winners. Towards the end of last year, he just was all over the place and he's a, a pretty good receiver up here. Welcome to Catching a Vibe. I'm your host, Drew, and today I'm joined by my father, Mike Anderson, you know, the fantasy football guru, the Peyton Manning of fantasy football. Guys, the number one seed in the regular season then just crumbles at the end. How are we feeling, Dad? Uh, thanks for having me. That's right, Drew. I am the best. I am the <laughs> go-to this. I've been doing it 20-some years and been pretty successful at it, so uh -huh. hopefully... Uh, I can drop some knowledge to you. Yeah. I remember <laughs> the first year I did it, you like pretty much picked my team, but like at the end I played you in the championship and I beat you at like 11 years old. And ever since then I've been hooked on it. Yeah. That's cause I kind of let him win. Like I always oh, whatever, do. Whatever dude. <laughs> Four time champion, baby. <laughs> Sorry. So this is going to be a fantasy football video. You know, it's August. The season's here. About that time, yes. Let's talk Favorite time football. of the year. Yep, yep. All right, guy. First question I have for you is, the first overall pick, is there a curse app, the first overall pick? I've had it a few times over the years, and uh, you always want to have it, but I, I, I really don't like it mm -hmm. just because there's so much pressure on that guy to build your team around you think he's got to put up so many points for you and he just half the time they get injured and then, and then it just puts the rest of your team in in a bind so mm -hmm. personally i'd rather be in the middle of the draft and and not be in the number one slot but uh sometimes it works out good yeah. for you last time i had the first overall pick it was 2020 pick cmc like everyone else would Yes. He got hurt after, I think, four games. But I still won the ship because I drafted so good. I had Kelsey, had A.J. Brown, D.K. Metcalf, Stephon Diggs' his first year with the Bills. Right. I mean, Kyler Murray's best yeah. year. It was yeah. stupid, that team. Mm -hmm. I, I got extremely lucky, but every other time I get the first overall pick, oh, I, yeah. just, I, mean, I mess up. Yeah, you, you look at, you know, example – CMC has been hurt, you know, the one year, and, uh, you know, who else? Uh, Gurley, Todd Gurley, if you remember him, he's was a first pick, and then he got hurt yeah. that Arthritis year. Arthritis in his yeah. knee. He's out of the league already, yeah. so uh, it's, it's kind of a curse to me. My opinion is uh, more times than not, I think they don't pan out as well as they are mm -hmm. during the preseason. And uh, some of the stats I had. So Jonathan Taylor last year was the first overall pick. He only scored 118 points. He was the running back 33. Oh, yeah. And he was an overwhelming number one pick. I've yeah. never seen so many people just – it's not even a thought. Right. I'm just picking him and, you know, and he – yeah, he busted out for you. Mm -hmm. I was never too crazy about Jonathan Taylor being the first overall pick. Well, to tell you, I had the number one pick in the one league. Oh, yeah. You know, and everybody's Jonathan Taylor. I picked CMC, and he ended up playing oh, most right. of the year. Yeah. And he got traded to the 49ers, and then he went bonkers there. But, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, that, you know, it's scary. Yeah. Then CMC 2021 scored only 90 points, RB 44. Then 2020, most of you guys drafted CMC again. He scored 73 points that year, yeah. RB 51. In 2019, most of the mock drafts I saw had Zeke getting right. drafted first or Saquon. Barkley, Zeke yeah. finished the fourth best running back. I mean, that's a win, honestly. Yeah, right. If yeah. you get, I mean, I'm not guy. saying every year, but some of the times, yeah, mm -hmm. they don't live up to the hype. I should say. Then Todd Gurley was 2018, and he finished as RB one. Right. Yeah. 
So yeah, it's I personally would rather have a middle or the back end. Mm -hmm. Just to, you know, it's so scary to pick that first pick. Yeah. Justin Jefferson's the projected. Yeah, he's the overall pick. number one, and and do I think he is deserving of it? Yes, I yeah. mean he is the biggest part of their game plan is throwing the ball to him. I mean in a PPR format, he's yeah. I mean you can't you can't get away from it. You got to pick him. All right, so now we're going through the top three players that we think will bust this year. <laughs> All right. Um, well, for me, it's my number three. Hate saying it, but I got Josh Jacobs. Just last year, he did. He played over his Went head. He bonkers. played. I mean, he played so well. I mean, it's just so hard to be a running back in the league nowadays. Getting that number of carries, he had so many touches. Led the league in rushing. Um, you know, he was just so into the game plan. Now with all the stuff going on and the contract dispute and not getting paid, they're going to stack the box. Who knows what uh, Jimmy Garoppolo is going to bring. Uh, right. I just think overall the Raiders are going to be down. Mm -hmm. um, so I think I got Josh Jacobs as my number three. Uh, kind of a – this might be a shocker because you see all the draft boards out there. My overhyped player – I'm going with Bijan Robertson. I just wow. think I just think that they still have Cordell Patterson, who two years ago was tops. I mean, <laughs> he was very good, and he got hurt. They brought in uh, Tyler Algier. Yeah, and, and he ran for he a had a great yards. year. Yeah. I mean, he almost what he run did he run for a thousand yeah. yards or yeah. something? I mean, he had an outstanding year. I just think he's going to be slow out of the gates. And for you to pick him in that top first round, I don't know if he's going to produce the number of points per game for you. I mean, he might be great in the playoffs towards the end of the year. He might turn into be something good. But uh, I just uh, I can't pick him in the first round. I'm going to let somebody else pick him. <laughs> he's going to be that Make some landmine for somebody else because yeah. I, I, I I'm just not believing the hype in him. He hasn't ran a... Uh, you know, hasn't played one season in the NFL, so mm -hmm. um, you want to go, or do you want me to just stay with my? Yeah, list? I can, I can do. So number three, this isn't a big surprise. Kyle Pitts, a Falcon. I just, I don't trust Desmond Riddler. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I Kyle Pitts is like everyone projected him as like the most talented tight end ever, and he's got everything. He hasn't done anything since his rookie year. Now is it? And you could be right. It's the quarterback play that's keeping him down. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, he's got all the physical attributes. I yeah. mean, size, speed, right? Hands. I mean, this guy jump ball is a yeah. Randy Moss like mm -hmm. for a tight end. Yeah, I think <laughs> next year we'll see. Yeah, I mean, you, you got to get uh, Ritter uh, some a season in so you see right. what kind of quarterback he is. Cause yeah, he's yeah, for sure. The number two, I got Jonathan Taylor. I'm just super nervous about that stuff that's going on between him and Ursay. The clash, how he wants to get paid, and Ursay's like, no, like we're not redoing your deal. You're going to play under this. Earth. And they're even talking about putting him on the non-injured mm -hmm. list and yeah. not paying him. Yeah. If he it, decides to keep acting like this. It's unbelievable the devalued the running back position has been. I mean, mm -hmm. in, in the fantasy world for the last 20 years for me, right. it's been the hot spot. You've always wanted to yeah. get the running backs. And to now it's scary. Backs. I don't even know if I want to go with a <laughs> receiver or a running back. It's all receivers to me. So mm -hmm. um, I agree with you on Jonathan Taylor. My two is going to be... Now, he kind of didn't have a good year last year, Debo, Samuel. I, oh, that's a good one. I think uh, he's just out of the game plan with CMC there. And Brandon Ayuk, I think, is a talent. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I think he's a very good receiver. So I think uh, Debo's 
where he was slash running back slash receiver and putting up those big numbers aren't there anymore. I, well, I just think he's going to be a middle of the tier yeah. receiver. Well, that year Debo had eight rushing touchdowns. He's yeah. never going to get eight rushing <laughs> touchdowns. So again. yeah. So yeah, is picking him as a early round receiver. I just I right. think he's not there. Fair. So number one then. Number one for me. Hate doing it. Cooper Cup, I just I am so scared of. Damn, he's kind of injury plug plague here recently. Injury prone, yeah. Uh, uh, Thirty years old, one. Uh, what's the health, uh, Matt Stafford? Right. You know that was Stafford. Pretty much just looked for him every play downfield. Yeah. You know, and you take Stafford out of the equation. Who knows who's in the backfield if they're going to try to get. Cooper Cup the ball, and I, I think right. Cooper Cup's an amazing player, but mm-hmm. I, I, I'm just worried about him not being where he was. Right, right. right. I love Cooper Cup too, but I agree he could definitely bust this year. Number one I have for me is Brees Hall, mm. just coming off that torn ACL. I'm just I picked J.K. Dobbins last year, and then <laughs> that did not work out right. at all. Yeah. So I don't know. It's just risky to draft the. Running back coming sure. off that big injury. Sure, and he's kind of. And they're talking about Dalvin Cook signing with the Jets. Well, he's another one where he's sitting out wanting more money, too. Right. Kind of a little contract dispute mm-hmm. where, you know, Baltimore, I don't think they're going to sink the money into him. I like JK. Uh, I thought he was going to be a super talent in the league, but yeah. it's just. It's, I don't know if he's going to live up to it. So now we have the top three league winners, in our opinions. All right. Uh, <laughs> kind of got some undervalued guys here. One was last year. <laughs> it's kind of a joke. I called him the Calvin Johnson. <laughs> yeah, Sky the, Moore being 5'9", <laughs> Moss and people. The Calvin Johnson of the draft. <laughs> Just joking around. But, I mean, come on. He plays with Patrick Mahomes. Somebody on the Kansas City Chiefs has got to catch the ball. He's, you know, uh, mm-hmm. Sky Moore. I've also uh, been seeing Justin Ross has been Yeah, looking he's been looking good. Camp. But I think Sky Moore's kind of getting that little bit of push. I know he's not 6'4", <laughs> like Randy Moss, but uh, yeah. he's kind of an undervalued guy that I, I would later rounds if he's still there. You know, he's worth a, worth a flyer. A Sure. Worth a flyer. The other guy is Jordan Addison from the Minnesota Vikings. I, I just think that uh, JJ just commands too much coverage on his side of the field that's going to allow this guy who's got top end speed to get open. And I think he's going to be a little more in the gameplay mm-hmm. th- than, than, uh, than what people think. Yeah. So, number three for me is going to be Brandon Ayuk. I, I, I like that pick. Towards the end of last year, he just was all over the place, and he's a, a pretty good receiver. I, I just think that as soon as the 49ers figure out their quarterback back situation, I think he's going to – I have him as my number three pick. I like your three there. Number three, I went with Lamar. I think Lamar is going to be a top four quarterback this year. He got a new offensive coordinator. Yeah. And – they got some weapons. They got oh, OBJ. Yeah. Can he I'm not high on, to, but yeah. he's a solid receiver. They got right. Zay Flowers, who I've been here and has been killing yeah. that train camp. Yeah. Mark Sweet. Andrews, obviously, mm-hmm. one of the best tight ends sure. in the league. Yeah, no, I, I, he's a very good pick. I, I'm considering picking him. You yeah. know, if you get don't draft an early quarterback, I think mid-tier rounds, yeah. I think he's worth going and getting just because of what he brings to the table with his arm talent and running. the legs. Yeah, Him running all over the place, he's scary. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, yeah, I think Lamar could be an MVP like he was a yeah. few years ago. For sure. Number two, I got my boy Nick Chubb. No more Kareem Hunt. I mean, this is right. his backfield oh, yeah. now. Yeah, he's 100%. Yeah. His backfield, because yeah. what's behind him is Jerome Ford, a dude. far drop off. Yeah, exactly. I just think he's going to actually catch passes this year, and I don't know why 
the Browns are so dumb. They never <laughs> give him the ball, like have him like make one move on a safety and he's gone. Like, yeah, sure. I, yeah, this guy to me, I think is the best running back in the league. in the league. Without a doubt, I've seen this guy just take and go off. I mean, take nothing there and mm-hmm. make something of it. Uh, mm-hmm. I agree. I, I mean, Chubb is a, a great running back. Yeah, I, I agree with that pick. Hope you never leave, Chubb. All right, <laughs> number one, I got Calvin Ridley. Mm. I think a lot of people are asleep on this dude. His last ah. year, he was like receiver six. Crazy to think about. Yeah. Behind Julio, too. I just, I don't know. Him and T-Law, I think they're going to hit it off real well. Right. Yeah. Christian no, I... Kirk last year <laughs> was receiver shot. 12. Yeah. But I think Calvin Ridley's a better way better receiver uh, i'm i'm right on page with you on the, on calvin ridley my two is rashad white from tampa bay i mean baker mayfield's there he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna need yeah the dump off. i could see him getting a lot of dump off passes i think he's a three down back uh he's gonna get the rushes of course and 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 dump off passes so uh, i kind of think he's gonna have a pretty good year just strictly because I'm scared of the receiver core with Baker Mayfield trying right. to get the ball I'm not down drafting field because, any of those guys. Because <laughs> I feel sorry for Mike Evans and uh, Godwin. Godwin. I just think that he, I'd stay away from those guys too. <laughs> for sure. But, uh, yeah, that's my two. My sure one, not. he stole my thunder, was uh, <laughs> Calvin Ridley. I mean, come on. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, I think, is going to throw the ball all over the place, and I think he's going to have a – top five quarterback value. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just think they're going to need him to throw the ball to be in games. Yeah. To win games. Uh, you know, Christian Kirk had a good year. They lost to uh, uh, Marvin, Marvin Jones. Jones and Zay Jones is not there. So I think uh, Calvin Ridley's lined up to be the number one on that team. And I think he's going to match He's going to match up with uh, Lawrence a lot. I think they're going to be throwing the ball all over. And Calvin Ridley, I think, is an exceptional talent oh, as a I receiver. I think speed, and you watch some of the workouts, and he's running Him fast running motion, coast. and everybody yeah. else is in slow motion. Slow motion. So I think he's going to be the number one sleeper, in my opinion, as far mm-hmm. as a big year. Yeah. What round would you pick him in? Uh, it's usually like five or six. Yeah, I mean, it just depends on how it plays out. I mean, in your draft, if it's a heavy receiver picked up draft, then he could go early as a four round, four to seven, somewhere in there. But, yeah, I can't see him being. And that's why I picked him because, you know, a a sleeper is not an early round pick to me. You know, if you're picking a guy in the first round, you're not going to call him a sleeper. Right. Or even in the third round, he's not a sleeper. Third round is still a. <laughs> well, these Pretty are league winners, high, guy. Yeah, high expected player. Sleeper Justin Ross for the Chiefs. That's I think it. he could be the receiver one. <laughs> Other than Megatron on the team, I think he'll be fighting for that. Well, somebody's number. gonna have to put up some numbers for Kansas City. Yeah, to except for Kelsey. Be dominating the goat. Right. So you know, we talked about uh, you know earlier just about bus. You know, I. I'd, I'm a little worried about Kelsey. I, I just think that, you know, I don't want to call him an all all around bust, but <laughs> we got to have these wow. receivers come out and play. Yeah, uh, I just uh, he's going to be double covered. I think they're going to cover him up. All but... right, we'll see about that, guys. Okay? <laughs> what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response. Were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought? Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. I don't know. You take the shot, you take the risk, you can go ahead and pick Kelsey all you want. All right, last last question I have for you. Alvin Kamara, he just came down. He's only suspended three games. Where where do you think his stock rises up to what realm? Uh, you know, three games is 
not very much, especially at the beginning of the year. And if you can get him the rest of the year, if he stays healthy, uh, he's still a pretty... They didn't have the greatest year last year, though. Well, I think he had a lot on his mind with all the other stuff going That's on. True. I I think he's starting to come down a little bit as far as drafting him. What round? Mm-hmm. I mean, I fourth round, I couldn't see him going any earlier than that. I mean, to me, it doesn't worry about missing three games because the way the running backs get banged up and hurt and uh, uh, just the way the game plan is where they're throwing a lot more, where it kind of, you know, kind of hurts them a little bit. Right. I, even though he's had big receiving years, I think they're phasing him out a little bit. Well, Drew Brees, his last two years, was just dumping it because he's oh, yeah. on the shot. I mean, yeah, he was 80 receptions a year. Yeah. I mean, he was big time right. back in, you know, a couple years ago. Mm-hmm. But I just think that they're kind of game planning away from him and just trying to make him a runner. And I just think that, you know, he, he's not going to have a solid yeah. year, but I would pick him. I mm-hmm. mean, I, I don't think he's a bust. Yeah. I just think he's not as a first round kind of running back type of guy quality. I'll ask you some would you rathers. Would you rather draft Alvin Kamara or Najee Harris? Uh, Najee Harris. Najee I'm Harris. kind of high on him this year. I, I, I think that there's nobody behind him, right? So this guy is in the backfield 100%. You know, I'm not worried about some other guy nipping at his heels trying to steal plays from him. So he's getting your, your touches. I think the Steelers are going to be a little bit better. Uh, they're going to be throwing the ball, getting down inside the red zone. They're going to pound the ball with him. He's still, I think, a, a pretty good running back. So mm-hmm. my choice is uh, Najee. Najee. Would you rather Alvin Kamara or Jameer Gibbs for uh, the Lions? Oof, that's... <sighs> not seeing Gibbs at all. I mean, I I don't know. He's been pushed real heavy coming into the season, but uh, I'm still going to go with Kamara. Kamara. Because they invested a lot of mo- money in Montgomery getting in there. I mean, I just Jamal don't see Williams him. Jamal Williams is with the Saints, too. I know, but I just think that he's going to – I like – I don't like Gibbs as much as uh, Montgomery. Okay. That's fair. Well, guy, that's all I got. Thanks for coming on, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I'm just happy I could teach you a little bit uh, something about this fancy I football think the world. The Pat of One's becoming the master <laughs> now. But right, right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, share, do it all. We'll see you next time. Peace.